Hi, I'm Dwight Dale Miller. I'm the creator of the Wildlight Healing System. And I just wanted to do a quick little video to go over colors because some of you may not be familiar with what colors might mean. And when I say that, I want to be very clear. I don't want you figuring it out. I don't want you limiting it by creating a box, but I'm just going to give you a lot of content here on what colors might relate to. But again, keep it open because we're invoking the divine to help us. I'm sure there are things going on beyond our understanding and I hope that there are, okay? <laughs> so first of all, there's nine colors in the deck. The seven chakra colors, which I'll go over, as well as gold and silver. The red color is typically associated with your bottom chakra, your base or root chakra at the bottom of the spine. It's associated with survival and a lot of the things we deal with on this plane, like fear, having enough food, worries about money, things like that. It's fairly primal. And obviously red can be love. It can be passion. Um, there's positive and negatives, right? With each color, each vibration, etc. So just really quick. And again, you can have colors with your chakras. Uh, when I've done meditations on the heart chakra and my heart wall, I saw different colors blocking it. It may be associated with the different emotions or different energies. Our auras have different colors, okay? Colors may mean, may mean a lot of different things. So I'll talk a little bit about the chakras, but let's definitely keep it open-minded and let us love everything red and clear everything related related to the red vibration when we do the system all right orange that's the sacral chakra it's communication it's ex expression it's sexual it is giving away your power it things about power if i have a client who's got sciatica and i once had sciatica from a car accident that knocked my bottom L5 disc over onto my S1 sciatic nerve. And that was brought about by feelings of helplessness and powerlessness, okay? <laughs> I didn't realize it until later, unfortunately. I could have resolved that, those symptoms much faster. Okay, so that's orange. The next chakra up is the solar plexus chakra, that's yellow. That's a power, more of a willpower center. And obviously this is our gut area, both this and the sacral can be affected by emotions, a lot of strong emotions and a lot of past life emotions that we're holding on to. Like if you've ever been punched in the gut or felt like you've been punched in the gut, right? That's this air, juicy area here. So when you're clearing yellow, you're probably clearing a lot of stuff in this area, okay? Next up is green. I love green. I live in Asheville, Carolina right now, and it's, it's just turned summer. Spring, since spring, it's been incredibly green. And green is the heart chakra. It's more universal love. The, the pinks are more romantic love is how I see it. But I've also done angel meditations where they brought in magenta. So I, I would say Green in this context is definitely heart chakra, but the pinks and magentas can also be heart chakra as well as rose. I was just reminded of that. Obviously, it's love on the positive side. On the negative side, it can be heartbreak. It, it can be grief. A lot, uh, it also affects the lung area around here. Um, I encounter a lot of those kind of feelings. So around relationships and loss okay affects the heart area the next color up is blue throat chakra this is expression being yourself uh, my destiny 3 30 slash 3 is a big expression destiny so you that's why you see me writing books and doing what i do and it's why i've been driven to get in touch with my emotions and now i'm helping other people get in touch with, express, and ultimately release and heal emotionally, okay? 
So throat, and you can express yourself through talking, writing, dancing, creating things, just being yourself. Just express, don't hold it in, be yourself, express yourself, okay? Indigo, the brown, brown, brow chakra, or third eye as it's often called. A lot of our mental intuition, I'll call it. The heart has its own intuitive wisdom and divine wisdom, but this is where we receive a lot of psychic information and intuition. Um, when you're open, you can see things more from a soul level. You can see beyond the surface of what you know, the animal might just be seeing going on, you see deeper, you have that inner wisdom, that broader perspective, we'll just call it that, okay. Uh, violet is the top, that's the crown chakra. This is receiving information and uh, inner wisdom and guidance. It's being in alignment with the divine, with your soul. When you smile, that helps open your crown. Um, it's associated with confidence. I guess I'll just leave it at that. Confidence, inner wisdom, being in alignment. Okay. Silver, I've, since I've gotten into healing, I've always viewed as a very healing color. And I think of colloidal silver. You know, I, there were times on my journey where I actually drank some colloidal silver. It's got great healing properties in it. I'm not suggesting you go do that, do your own research. But there's something about silver that I find very healing. And it's gonna be related to chakras above the main seven. I believe there's 13. Again, it doesn't matter what I believe. I'm totally open and I don't have to know how many chakras there are. It really doesn't matter to me. But um, that's silver. The last color is gold. Gold is absolutely magic. It's definitely a higher vibration color. Uh, the paintings behind me I've painted, so I paint. And there's been times when I've just been spreading large amounts of gold paint around and on the canvas, maybe get it on my fingertips. Gold is super powerful, super magical, super high vibration. I can't say enough about gold. So I'll be curious to see if you feel gold in the other colors. You can pay attention as you're going through the system. And again, just stay open. We have no idea how much colors in these vibrations expand and impact us. And we're just clearing all the resistance to us. This is light therapy, it's phototherapy, it's color therapy. And it's way deeper because when we're doing the healing process, we're releasing and clearing our resistance to these things and getting us on the positive side. So I hope that was helpful. Those of you curious about the colors, there's way more you can go explore and learn about the chakras and colors. I just wanted to do a quick video to give you some basis. So when you're going through the cards, you might have some idea of what might be going on, but again, don't limit it. Okay. Stay expanded, stay open, stay surrendered and let the magic happen. Thank you.